So welcome to this small video on internationalization theory, part of the marketing series that I'm doing here on YouTube. In this small video, I'll be talking about the nine strategic windows, the nine strategic windows next to me here. The model has two dimensions, the top one being the industry globalism. It might sound a little bit strange, but the industry globalism deals with how global does the industry act. Think of it in the way that an automotive industry where factories and parts suppliers and so forth are located in the geographies where it makes most sense and it's spread all over the world. A truly global industry, whereas your neighborhood carpenter or plumber, well, that's a local industry, very local. And on the scale we have from local to global, also the potentially global. The other scale is the internal side of things. Is the company mature, adolescent or immature? Most often those decisions are bound into people or organizational structures. So if you're looking at a company which is mature, they probably have strategic departments, they have international sections or even divisions of the company, and they are ready to do things. <clears throat> In the immature, well, it's a company that doesn't really have any experience. Adolescent, the one in between, is where maybe they got a new sales director, which has worked abroad or sold abroad, or a purchasing manager, which has experience in procuring products in China or Africa or Mexico. And those skills can be going into the company and they can look at it. The nine strategic windows is then the combination of those two dimensions where an immature company in a global industry should look for a buyout or try to sell themselves. Think of the way that uh, you're a small supplier of a parts for the automotive industry. Well, you cannot really compete in the global industry as it is. So what can you do? Well, you can scale, but it's really difficult. But if you don't have that skill, capability, competence within your organization. Well, there's not really possible to do. So therefore prepare for the buyout. And as you see, as we move up, they get the skills, well, seek the global alliance. So you don't get taken over. Mature a global company, strengthen your global position. There is one thing you have to be aware of in this case, is that this model has been built originally when globalization was on the uprise. These days, it's not so clear cut. These days, we also see industries which are deglobalizing. We see supply chain disruptions, meaning that you might not want to be a pure global player. You might want to have more local elements in order to ensure deliveries and productions as the world is uncertain. Ships uh, stopping the Suez Cap, uh, Canal, you have harbors in China being locked due to COVID, uh, and in general, rising prices uh, in the Far East. So there's these nine strategic windows or options that you can choose from based on your company maturity, and the globalization level of the industry. Okay, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.